Hi everyone, today we are here to help you fix your Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3 keyboard if it's not working. We will walk you through some easy troubleshooting steps. Let's jump in. Step 1. Update drivers and software. Update keyboard driver. Visit the Lenovo support website and enter your laptop serial number or model name. I have provided the link in the description. You can directly go through it. Download and install the latest keyboard driver for your specific model. Check for Windows Update. Go to Settings, then Windows Update. Check for Windows Update. Run Lenovo Vintage App. Install the Lenovo Vintage App from the Windows Store. Open the app and check for any system updates or diagnostic that may help resolve keyboard issues. Step 2. Perform a static discharge. Remove all cables connected to the device. Power cable, HDMI, external mouse, etc. Ensure the device is powered off. Press and hold the power button for 60 seconds. Reattach all cables and power up your laptop. Test the keyboard to see if the issue persists. Step 3. Run troubleshooters. Press the Windows key plus X, then select Control Panel. Change the view to large icons. Select troubleshooting, then click on View All in the left panel. Run the hardware and devices troubleshooter. Restart your machine after completion to check if the issue is resolved. Step 4. Uninstall and reinstall keyboard devices. Uninstall keyboard devices. Press the Windows key plus X then choose Device Manager. Expand the keyboard section. Right click on your keyboard device and select Uninstall device. Restart your machine. Windows will automatically reinstall drivers. Update driver again if necessary. In Device Manager, right click on your keyboard device again and select update driver. Choose browse for drivers on your computer and select let me pick from a list of available drivers. Select the latest keyboard driver from the list. Step 5. Reset BIOS settings. Access BIOS setup. Select the start menu then choose settings then go to update and security then go to recovery. Under advanced setup select restart now. After restarting select troubleshoot then go to advanced option then go to UEFI firmware settings. Load Setup Defaults in BIOS. Navigate to the Exit menu in BIOS Setup. Select Load Setup Default. Confirm with Yes, then Exit Saving Changes. Step 6. Test with external devices. Connect an external USB keyboard. Test if the external keyboard works correctly. If it doesn't, this may indicate a hardware issue with your built-in keyboard. Use on-screen keyboard. Access row, Start. Go to Ease of Access. Then go to Keyboard. To test non-operational keys on screen, command prompt test. Launch command prompt and test typing with built-in keys. If they fail, while external keys work, it may indicate a hardware issue. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button.